My name is Eric Schwabel and I am a photographer. This work I'm showing today is a project called the Human Light Suit that I do at Burning Man. I've been shooting there for the past four years. So what I do is I go, I shoot portraits of people kind of walking around but I'm wearing this big lighting rig on my head. So that's how I, actually on my shoulders. So that's how I uh, light everyone there. <laughs> and then at night, these nighttime ones, those are all big LED panels that I'm wearing. They're about five feet tall. <laughs> I've been in Venice nine years. I've had this studio for eight years. You know, we don't open up to the public terribly frequently, and I think um, when Art Block started, that was the first time I met all these artists, and I've been here for eight years. You know, they're artists that I met that have been here for 40 years across the street, and I never met them, like Pamela across the street. And um, I think that's it. I think because Venice is changing so much, and I think it's really important to kind of show this part of Venice still. You know, like there's, there's, there's these weird little studios hidden around here and you never know what's going on in them because we're not really open to the public. So that's kind of why I did it. It's kind of show that we're still here and this is what we do. So you say Venice is changing. What does that mean to you? Well, um, you know, past few years, the houses are getting torn down and bigger ones are going up. And you know, where we're, it used to be grittier here, now it's, uh, it's more of a destination for people. And um, you know, it was it was sort of this arts hub for LA, and it still is. But I think it's gotten drowned drowned out a little bit by the uh, development here lately. Like people don't haven't been paying attention to that as much, and it could easily become sort of this trendy shops and stuff. And the arts community might be forced out. But I think the artists definitely have a role in trying to preserve their community. I think that's kind of why we made Art Block happen is because we want that to continue. This is our home, you know, we don't want to leave. <laughs> but it's been interesting watching people come in and yeah, opportunities for me personally coming in. Hey, I'm Sheila Goldberg, out for a great day, enjoying the Venice Heart Block, that's the name of it now. And I'm having fun and discovering studios I've never been to. And I think public should come and have a great time and I wish you guys the best. And you were one of the founders, or yeah, the founder of the, of the Venice, Venice Art, Art Walk. Walk. Yeah, I was very involved for a very long time. And the best part of today is finding out how many artists are still in Venice and working, and I love it. Thank you. My name is Visco Smith, and this is my work and studio, and uh, we're just showing it today, you know. I've been living in Venice for about two plus years, and I'm working here only for six months. The work, I, I'm, I come from like a root of graphic design, that's a visual communication, so I've sort of transitioned that into a, a digital collaging and bringing in, a, trying to bring in some like social commentary in it and mixing paint with wood and transfers, so mixing my elements of digital and physical. I'm originally from the East Coast. So a lot of, like I just had a show in Brooklyn a couple months ago and a lot of my work is on the East and I am slowly getting integrated into Venice more and loving this community. I feel like I've never been in a place more community than Venice, you know? Really? Yeah, totally, definitely. And um, being in this space specifically is so inspiring. I mean, you, as you see today walking around, it's like so many people doing really, really great work. So we're, we're fortunate, I feel like we found this this little cave on a whim and you know we're, we're with Jim over there and like all right it's just cool. It's you work place. with Venice Arts? Um, I do work with Venice Arts, yeah. What do you do over yeah. at Venice Arts? Um, I actually started volunteering with them doing photo documentation with kids. So right I come from a background of doing like nonprofit work and I do street art workshops with kids on the East Coast and um, so I saw Venice Arts and their organization is great, you know. So I started there about a month ago and just, like I said, getting involved with Venice. With all the stuff in it. pieces uh, in this uh, event and 
like I was saying, I'm I'm an all new artist, I would say, because I've been working for a long time and I've been in Venice for a long time, but I never show my work in the art block. The idea is to be part of the art block and, and include my studio that is in Venice next year. That will be ideal for me. Gary Palmer. I've been an artist in Venice for about 12 years now. I've been an artist since I was a small kid, but I've been traveling around the world since I left Belfast, but I've been uh, working here in Venice for about 12 years. And I've had this studio here for a decade. And why Art Lost? Oh, I've been a part of the uh, Venice Art Walk for many years, for about the last 10 years, and uh, which has been fantastic uh, to bring uh, all of the artists in the studios opening up. Uh, artists in the, in the neighborhood got familiar with opening up their studios on a regular basis. It seemed to be very much a tradition uh, here in Venice. And uh, now that the art walk is changing and really becoming more concerned with the, with the auctioning of the pieces and not so much with the studio tour, the artists all felt that it was time that we started to maybe organize a studio tour ourselves and to keep to keep that tradition alive. So uh, and it's been a great experience, you know, just the just the, the, the fact that all the artists have started to get to know each other a little better and get to be more familiar with um, what each other are doing, I think that's going to facilitate those kinds of collaborations in the future and uh, reminds us all that, that there's so much independent arts and creativity in the neighborhood still, uh, even though a lot of artists have moved out in the neighborhood as well. You know. well I've got a series of paintings um, over here. These ones are from a uh, journey in Africa and these are kind of narrative paintings and they tell the story. Of, Where in Africa? Uh, I lived in Malawi for a while, in Tanzania and uh, up to Zanzibar Island. So those paintings kind of tell uh, Story of the journey. What's your medium? Is it watercolor? Um, here I use, um, I use pure pigment powder and I mix that with, a, with an acrylic glaze and I paint in layers almost as if it's uh, almost like a batik. And then these paintings here are very peaceful ones. They're more uh, like a meditation, meditation paintings. And the actual act, act of a painting is something that sort of takes me to kind of a peaceful state. And so the painting, the, the painting kind of embodies that uh, peaceful state. And you can see up here some of the street art. I do this, these are more illustrative drawings on the street. So that's a photograph of the, the, a recent drawing in Atlantic City. Do you do a lot of this kind of work yeah, in the streets? Have you seen this? This is one of the street drawings that I did in Venice Beach. She's from here. Where? Venice Beach? It's right there where they have the little terracotta tiles and the concrete sections. Right on the, uh, it lasted for a few days, about 10 years ago. Is this ago. chalk? What kind of it's chalk? <laughs> yeah, it just washes off in the rain. And then this is a book of all the chalk drawings. So now I, I, get, I do those um, sort of three-dimensional ones. They're anamorphic perspective. So from a certain point, they, they look like there's a hole in the ground. And then they look very distorted from any other position. That's sort of public work, and it's really so completely different to what I'm doing on, on canvas. You know, they're more much more illustrative. Big perspective ones, it takes three or four days, um, and then they wash off over time. You know? Nowadays, we're brought to festivals specifically to do it, but that's something I'd love to have happen in Venice to bring some of the some of that international group that do, that do the 3D perspective and have a street painting festival here in Venice. That'd be great. Let's make it happen. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a network of these people? Do you know? Yeah, I know. Are? I know all the top uh, people doing this stuff in there now. Because a lot of them come to the same festivals. So, and there's some some people. Uh, um, like the last that Atlantic City festival, there was a guy they brought from India, and there was a guy from Ukraine. There was a couple of Italians, a couple of Germans, and, um, so there's actually a really nice community that are um, doing, doing that work. And it'd be pretty easy to invite them over here, you know. So that's something that uh, would be a nice uh, evolution for, of the of the art block, you know. Yes. Surface? Do you need anything? Uh, well, you can do it on asphalt or uh, or concrete. Um, you just work a little bit differently depending on the surface. But quite often nowadays, people use uh, they use pigment powder like a, a temper paint. And it actually, paint, they paint it on there, but it still washes off. Um, but I do like to use the chalks. I still like the old technique of uh, using the chalk and charcoal, particularly. 
it's called the painter painting the painter painting. And so you see painters doing the street painting, up this painter doing a fresco, and then there's a guy painting a scaffold that he's standing on, and then there's a big painter. <laughs> it's kind of almost like an Asherish. And this is David Ellington, this, uh, this piece is right here. This is Gus. What did he bring like? The world's most delicious yeah, donuts. They are donuts. really amazing again. And they're around for all you people. All right. Thank you. Mr. Palmer. We can't do that at all. Guess who I'm standing with right now. Um, okay. But thank you very much. This is my friend Dean. I guess she's on the phone. And these ones are um, Mark Gibson. And this is John. He was in Atlantic City when I was doing that. Oh. Right there. Awesome. I'm from Northern Ireland, so I do a British and Irish citizenship. Uh, two passports. Very useful when you go to Cuba. Have you been going to Cuba? I've been to Cuba. How many times? I take Just you. once. I take Fantastic though. But it was really? Yeah, I'm taking a well. women in film group yeah. December 1st to the 8th. What did you do in Cuba? Do you see artists? I went to Havana. Amazing. I was just there. For, I, I'd been working in the Cayman Islands mm -hmm. on, the, on the movie, and then I just got over there for a few days, really, in Havana. Fantastic experience. Enjoyed it. Yeah. So what are you? Yeah, and you're going regularly. Yeah, now? And so taking, you're watching, I've been there five times. Is there quite a lot of change now? Yeah, there's change happening, and there'll be more changing. William Adam.